4.2.4, the pH scale and neutralization. So you need to know the difference between acids and alkalis, and you need to know what a neutralization reaction is. So you need to know acids produce H plus ions in solution. H plus with a little AQ in brackets would represent an acid. And alkalis produce OH minus ions in solution. Uh, they're called hydroxide ions, so if you see something like Ca brackets OH twice, you know it's calcium hydroxide. OH minus ions are called hydroxide ions. So the pH scale me measures the level of acidity or alkalinity of a solution. If it's below 7 then the pH, then it's an acid, and if it's above 7, it's an alkali solution. Universal indicator or a pH scale can be used to tell you the concentration of the acid or the alkali. So you've used this in, in school all the time, you've probably done it in year 7 all the way through, where it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo or purple indicate whether it's a strong, weak acid or a weak or strong alkali. Remember green is neutral and it's in the middle. Neutralisation is a reaction between acids and alkalis. And what happens is the H plus ion of the acid reacts with the OH minus ions in the alkali and it produces water. You've got to know the equation for neutralization and here it is. Make sure you learn that, make sure you know about the charges on the ions and make sure you know about the state symbols. So imagine this, if you wanted to get the whole range of a colour, you could slowly add an alkali to an acid that would cause the following colour changes. So if you're starting off with a strong acid with a concentration of H plus ions of 10 to the minus 1, where the pH is 1, it would start off a red colour. Then as you added a little bit more indicate, a little bit more alkali, then it would turn from a red colour to an orange colour, then to a yellow colour. Then eventually you get to green, which is a neutral. That means the concentration of H plus ions equals the concentration of OH minus ions. And if you continue to add OH minus ions, you'll get a blue colour of the indicator and you'll get a purple if, it's, if you've added enough OH minus ions for it to be concentrated. Remember this indicator is called universal indicator. There are other indicators out there. Phenylphthalene is colourless in acid um, and it's pinky purple when you've got an alkali solution. Methyl orange is yellow in an alkali solution and orange in acidic conditions. The thing with that one is, is the colour change is not that great, so phenylphthalene gives a clearer colour change. Make sure you know about these indicators and make sure you know about the pH scale and neutralisation.